Emperor's Cut Jazz Miles. If you haven't had this cigar, I'm about to tell you all about it. Let's go. The Emperor's Cut Jazz Miles. Uh, this is a very good cigar. It's medium body cigar, but it is full of flavor. Uh, I promise you will enjoy this smoke. So let's go on and get into this. It is a 56 by six and a half Toro. Um, you look at it, it is mildly veiny. There's little to no tooth on it. Uh, no visible seams on this cigar. A uh, very, very well made cigar. As most of the, the ones that they put out are, I haven't seen, I haven't come across a badly made Emperor's Cut cigar yet. So let's cut this bad boy up and put some fire to it. So this cigar has a Sumatra Sun Grown wrapper and binder, also double capped. Um, the filler is Peruvian and Nicaraguan. Um, like I said, it's medium body, but it is very flavorful. Uh, you will not be disappointed with this cigar. So let's get into it. First pull. I'm getting a lot of nuttiness, kind of like sweet almond type flavors coming out of here. Um, toasty and woodsy, um, uh, slight cocoa in it. Um, I'm looking at my notes as I go through it just to make sure I can keep with what I, I, I got last time. Now, this is a very good cigar. The company um, is fairly new, but um, They've got uh, three different cigars uh, out right about now. They've got the, the Jazz uh, with the blue label, which is slightly different. And they also have the, I believe it's called the Natural with the black label. Also, you know, that one is probably one of my favorite cigars, one of my top 10 cigars uh, off top. Haven't had too many of the, the Jazz Miles, uh, but um, I do like them. As you can see, it puts off a good amount of smoke. I did uh, V cut it, by the way. Um, puts off a good amount of smoke and the flavors just come rushing at you when you smoke it. Um, that sweet almond, that toast, that wood, that, that uh, cocoa is right there with every pour. Burn isn't perfect, but it's not too bad. Nothing we can't fix. Uh, just enjoying this cigar. Um, I'm getting a little bit, little bit of a uh, like cedar is uh, the wood that I I, I would equate this, this, this flavor to. Yeah, 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 we're gonna call that cedar. Um, see that burn is catching itself back up. That's what happens when, it, I've only had to touch up uh, the last one, the last one I smoked, I had to touch it up one time. But other than that, they tend to burn very evenly. A very, very well made cigar. Not, not a tight draw, easy draw. You get good airflow, good smoke production, great flavors. They know what they're doing over there at Emperor's Cut. Uh, I'll be back on that second, third.
So now we're into the second third and um, the flavors kind of switch up. So the nuttiness takes a back seat to the toastiness. Um, and there's a slight pepper on the finish. I mean, real, real slight pepper on the finish. Not anything that is going to uh, make you say, oh, this is a spicy cigar. It's nothing like that. It's just very, very slight. You can just feel it on the record here. Um, this is a very good cigar. And I definitely say go out and if you find it at your local cigar shop, pick them up or order them off their website, emperorscutcigars.com. Em order them off their website, uh, they're always there, and, or if you happen to see them, they're in Total Wines in select places. If you, if you happen to come across it, trust me, you will not regret picking up any one of their uh, cigars, whether it be the Natural, the Jazz Miles, or the Jazz Train, or the Jazz Dizzy, all really good cigars. Definitely something that you want to pick up. You will definitely enjoy. I paired it with uh, some Blanton's uh, whiskey. Um, it 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 goes very well together. Very well together. It, it's like it's not a full-bodied cigar. It's a medium-bodied cigar with a bunch of flavors. But the Blanton's does not blow the flavors of the cigar out. Nor does the cigar blow out the flavors of the Blanton's. Um, they work very well together. I definitely recommend Emperor's Cut Cigars. Uh, I'll be back in that last third. As we get into this last third, these flavors are really battling each other. The, the nuttiness and the toastiness and the woodsiness are are all fighting each other for 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 the for, for the driver's seat. Um, but trust me, it is an amazing experience. It's a great experience. I love these cigars, um, and I'm going to continue to smoke these cigars. The burn is somewhat sharp. Um, I got a little spot right there that I'm probably going to leave alone and not touch. Uh, and see what happens if it catches back up because it normally does. Uh, but other than that, the burn is great, the smoke production is great, the flavors are great. Um, overall, I highly recommend that you go out and grab yourself some Emperor's Cut cigars, be it the Natural, the Jazz Miles, the Jazz Train, or the Jazz Disney. Grab you one. Trust me, you will not be disappointed. If you like the video, then like the video. Subscribe to the channel. We got a lot more reviews, a lot more conversations coming. And also check out the website, theherfordorlounge.com. All of our past conversations and reviews will be there. My cigar diary is also there. We got merch coming. We got giveaways coming. We got contests coming. Check out the website, theherfordorlounge.com. Also follow me on Instagram at Ray True Life. Y'all have a good one. We out.